Hey guys, welcome back to Above Average Golf 89. My name is Van Rome. Uh, today I'll be giving you guys a quick tip on what we can do when uh, we're heading into these summer months and we know it's going to be backed up on the uh, on the tee boxes. You have a group in the fairway, a group on the green, and you're just waiting there for five, ten minutes before it's your turn to tee off. Especially heading to this 4th of July weekend, it will be extra busy. So if you had, if you just say you just had a bad hole or you had a bad front nine, you're making a turn to the back nine and you want to get yourself back on track, uh, go back and check your fundamentals. While you're waiting on the tee box, again, you've got five minutes before it's your turn to tee off. Uh, check your fundamentals. Those fundamentals are gap B. Now, gap B, G-A-P-B. Uh, gap B stands for grip, alignment, posture, backswing. So again, you're waiting on the tee box. You've got five minutes before it's your turn to tee off. Uh, you can either stand there and kind of goof off with your friends, uh, have a drink, uh, have a cigar, have a cigarette, whatever you guys normally do. Or if you're serious about breaking 90 or you're serious about trying to win that, that skin pot that you just got into and you want to get your game back on track, check those fundamentals. So gap B, uh, first thing, gap B, G, and uh, the gap B is uh, grip. Go back and check your grip. Perhaps you are uh, slicing a lot of balls or uh, pulling a lot of balls. Maybe it's just your grip. So go back and check your grip. If you normally play a strong grip, when you look down at your grip, you can stand on the tee box, you've got time. Check your grip there. Can you see three knuckles on your left hand there? Or if you're right hand, or if you're uh, play left hand, it would be your right hand turned over. But can you see those three knuckles when you look down there? Another part of your grip, can you see, or do you have the two V's of your hand there between your forefinger and thumb? Are those two V's pointing at your right shoulder? Those two V's should be pointing at your right shoulder when you're setting up for your grip there, right? If you play a weak grip, when you look down at it, do you only see one or two knuckles? Go back and check that. If you play just a neutral grip, go, re, go ahead and get re-gripped and see, do I look down and do I just see maybe just one knuckle there? And are my V's still pointing at my right shoulder? That's the basic grip there. So go back and just check your grip while you're waiting on the tee box, you've got time, check your grip. Um, a. In gap B. A is for alignment. Perhaps you've been uh, pushing a lot of balls off to the right or perhaps you've been uh, yanking balls to the left. Maybe it's not your swing, it could just be your alignment. So go back and you're on the tee box there, you've got time. Find something out there in the fairway and see if you can get your shoulders, your hips, your knees and feet all aligned at a target out there and just see if you were lined up right. Then to check that, take your club and just lay it across your shoulders. Stand in your regular uh, posture, and it's that club pointing at your target out there. So again, you're bent over, you already got your feet lined up, your hips lined up, and you're seeing if you pick the right target in your alignment. So that's another thing you can do standing on the tee box while you're waiting for the, for the uh, group in front of you to move out the way. Uh, P in gap B is for posture. You may wanna go back and just check uh, what have you been doing while you've been standing over the ball, have you been like really kind of slouched over? Have you had your legs like locked in too tight? Are you too bent over? Go back and go again, back to the fundamentals of nice flat back, bent slightly at the waist, knees are slightly bent. I feel like I'm balanced on both feet and feel nice and relaxed there. Just stand again, while you're waiting on the tee box, just go back to your posture and back to your fundamentals of, again, flat back, bent slightly at the knees, at the hip, slightly at the knees, I'm even between both feet there, my arms are relaxed. And is your posture good? That's something else you can check while you're waiting on the tee box. And lastly, um, B. B is for backswing. Like I've said in my previous videos, it's important you make a full backswing to give your body time to catch up in the downswing that you, that you make a full backswing. So to check your backswing, take a ball, or even just any type of mark that's sitting there in the tee box, maybe there's a tee laying there, just whatever you can find to get in the middle of your stance. Lay the club across your chest there. And just take a full, you gotta act like this is my target out this way. Turn your back to the target. And when I made that turn, it's the butt end of my club at the ball or slightly past the ball. That means I made a full back swing with my back to the target. So that's something else you can check on the tee box. So again, if you get there and maybe you just were making not even a real swing, you're just stopping there in your back swing, or maybe you missed up a reverse C pivot in your back swing. Just go back to check. Okay, cross my chest, let me turn until 
the butt end of the club is at the ball or at whatever mark you have down there and make a full backswing. That's what it feels like. So go back and check that. So again, grip, alignment, posture, backswing. Gap B, something you can do while you're on the tee box waiting for the guys in the fairway to clear out. And uh, hopefully this will help you guys get back on track if you had an off round or if you had an off front nine or a, just one off hole. This will get you back on track. So give this a try. Hopefully it help you guys break 90. Hopefully it help things go smoothly this weekend, 4th of July weekend. Hope everybody stays safe this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of uh, guys out on the golf course and coronavirus is still real out there. So be safe and I uh, hope you guys have a good one. See you guys next time on Above Average Golf 89.